surface in a newly unsealed search warrant. Nearby cameras filling in the once unknown. The warrant states a group of younger males possibly attacked and assaulted Lee near a tree in the park. Lee was able to break away from the group and ran toward the pond. Investigators say several people followed her to the pond where she was dragged and later found beaten, unclothed and unconscious. Shortly after the attack, surveillance showed 11 people leaving the park on foot and on unique bicycles. It just hurt so bad, you know, it's, it's really hurt me. There were two teens who called police to report a body found. Investigators say they were also seen on surveillance shortly after Lee's assault. When investigators went to one teen's home, his mother told him to go inside and to quote, delete everything off of his phone. Authorities now looking through that phone record to possibly help crack the case. I just want justice for her. That's, that's all I want. She don't deserve to die that way. Lee died at the hospital a few days after the attack. Her sister still scared for her own safety tonight. Investigators and authorities have not yet revealed if any arrests have been made in this case. Reporting live tonight in Washington Park, Aaron Maben, Fox 6 News. Hard to hear. Aaron, thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Tim Muhammad, new video. Check it out. You know, it's a lot of controversy going on about so called Chinese people, so called Asian people, so called Japanese, Hmong, whatever you want to call them, however y'all want to categorize our distant brothers. When I say our, I'm talking about the black people on the planet. But I want to point out a couple things when while we sitting there talking about giving protection for Chinese or Asian or Hmong Americans. What about the protection for the black Americans? Huh? I want y'all to see this. Check out this video. I cannot believe I cannot believe Just relax. Please relax. So he can stop tussling with you. Yes, I cannot But no, just calm down. Just, just calm chill. So don't talk to me about what's going on with Chinese. I don't want to hear that. Talk to me when people care about what's happening to black people. Where was her husband at? Where was her brothers at? Where was the gang bangers at? Where was the killers at? Huh? He going he got the nerve to choke out a woman like that over some eyelashes? Fuck that. This is the type of stuff that needs to be addressed. I don't want to hear nothing about no Chinese people getting knocked out. When they was terrorizing Washington Park, they little Chinese gang, who came and spoke up? Who had something to say? Who said something? Who said something? Now the whole world's supposed to stop? When did the world stop when the uh, when the uh, black man had been under the boot of these devils for the last 400 years? Who came to America to help us? Who came to America to help us? Think about this. If slavery lasted for 400 years, the rest of the world watched it and no one came to intervene. Until Masfarah Muhammad. Until Masfarah Muhammad. And without him lifting up the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, most of us would still be blind, deaf, and dumb like the 85% out there. Hear me? I'm going to leave y'all with this. There's three sets of group of people up in this world, and I'm trying to do my job. Hit that like and subscribe button to help me do my job, y'all. We have 85% of the world 
They 85% is considered blind, deaf, and dumb. They worship a mystery God. They don't, they see it, it's raining, even though science can prove where the rain is coming from, but they believe in a mystery God. We have 85% of the world who's being ran by a slick 10%. That slick 10% know the truth. They know Allah appeared in the person of Master Al Muhammad. They know that the messenger, and when I say the messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is the Jesus. They know these things. They know that Master Al Muhammad is the savior, right? They know that Minister Farrakhan is the Jesus in our presence right now. That 10% know that. That's why they ban him. That's why none of these presidents or politicians won't speak bad about the minister. They are afraid of the seed that he might plant in our head and it might germinate to make us men and women. And then we have a 5%. That 5%, we know the truth. Our job is to try to help the 85%. But the 10% try their best and their hardest to keep the 85% against us. So a lot of 85% is ignorant. They're gonna disagree, say hateful things out of ignorance and not understanding. Tim Muhammad, I'm out. Let's look after each other first. Black look after black. And then we'll worry about everybody else. When we start getting bills brought up for our protection, some bills with substance, laws with substance, things that we can actually take advantage of, not these feel-good bills, not these feel-good marches, not these photo ops. Then we'll start worrying about everybody else. That show sure enough is a slave mentality. The slave cared about everybody else except for himself first. Tim Muhammad, I'm out. May Allah continue to bless you and your family. May Allah continue to bless the most honorable. Minister Farrakhan, I'm out.